brain tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick heads up that if you are using WhatsApp on your Android phone, that uh, WhatsApp backups on Android will soon start counting toward your Google account cloud storage limit, which as many of you know, sits at 15 gigabytes of free storage if you are a personal account user. Now this um, announcement was recently made late yesterday in my region on the 14th of November by the Android team who says that um, if we just head over to our Google Drive, WhatsApp backups on Android will soon start counting towards your Google account cloud storage limit, which currently is not the case. Your WhatsApp backups um, don't count towards your overall limit, and this may be set to change. Now, my reason I'm talking about WhatsApp backups is we don't normally talk about Android phones on the on the channel, but it does affect your Google Drive storage limit and overall storage, which we do talk about on the channel. So I thought I'd just post this quick video to give you a heads up. Now, um, they carry on to say the reason they are doing this is because this is similar to how WhatsApp backups are handled on other mobile platforms. And this change will first start rolling out to WhatsApp beta users starting in December of this year, 2023. And then gradually to all WhatsApp users on Android starting early next year. So we can expect that to officially start happening where it counts towards your storage on Google Drive. I would say January, February next year of 2024. Now, um, if we head over to get more storage in Google Drive, yeah, we get our storage plan, as many of you may know. And yeah, we can see the breakdown of the storage. As an example, if you're like me and are using the personal free drive storage where you've got 15 gigabytes of storage, yeah, you can see the breakdown of your overall storage. So yeah, we've got how much Google Drive is taking up, Gmail, if you use photos. And then if you click on this little link, device backup, It'll take you over to all your devices that are backed up. So yeah, you can see my phone is backed up. My Chromebook is backed up to Google Drive. And yeah, we get our WhatsApp backup. And if we double click on that, what it does back up in case you're unaware is all your chats and media, including photos, videos, audio, and documents are backed up on Google Drive. Uh, if you change devices, you can restore them when you reinstall WhatsApp. So basically, in case you're unaware, that's what's backed up. And you can uh, change these settings on your Android phone in case you are unaware regarding what's a backup. Now, something else to take note of is that if you choose to enable WhatsApp backups on your phone, um, obviously just take note that you only get 15 gigabytes of free storage if you are not signed up to a paid subscription plan of Google Drive. And as mentioned, that is across all your different um your different app services like google drive gmail photos and so on now if something else uh, just to mention for the purpose of this video is that whatsapp backups on android will continue to work according to this announcement as long as you have available space within your google account storage as i've mentioned and if you hit your storage limit you will obviously need to free up space to resume backups by removing items you do not need so that's large files and maybe blurry photos and stuff like that but just giving you this heads up as mentioned that um, early next year um, WhatsApp users on Android um, that uh, backup that's backed up to your Google Drive will count towards your overall storage limit so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one